Hello fellow tech enthusiasts and welcome to the IT Knowledge Base YouTube channel, your ultimate destination for IT tutorials, troubleshooting guides and in-depth tech insight. Whether you are an IT expert looking for advanced solutions or a beginner seeking to build a solid foundation in information technology, we've got you covered here. Our channel offers step-by-step -step guides, review of the latest tech trends and practical tips to help you stay ahead in the ever-changing IT landscape. Subscribe for regular updates and never miss out on essential IT knowledge. Today, I am thrilled to share my exciting journey with you as I walk you through the process of installing the latest and to setting up secure home lab setup with FortiGate 40 OS Firewall on VMware Workstation and setting up a LAN for my home lab activities. FortiGate is a powerful network security appliance that offers robust firewall capabilities and other advanced security features. By running it on a virtual machine, you can easily test and experiment with various configurations without the need for physical hardware. Before delving into the installation process, please ensure that VMware Workstation was already installed on your computer. If you have not done that yet, the installation of VMware Workstation is very straightforward. I recommend installing it first and checking out a helpful tutorial on the internet. For downloading FortiGate VM and installing on VMware Workstation, this is for testing and evaluating purposes. We should download the trial image from the official Fortinet website. Head to the official Fortinet support website, support.fortinet.com to download the FortiGate 40 OS VM image. If you don't have an account, no worries. It's free and easy to sign up. I have already signed up. I will click on login. I have already signed up and associated my Gmail account. It's required input security code. Go back to my Gmail address. This is an authentication token. Just copy it and paste it here. Next, download the FortiGate VM Virtual Appliance Deployment Package from the support drop-down list. Select VM images to access the available VM deployment packages. From the select product drop down list, select FortiGate. And from the select platform drop down list, download for VMware. This VMware ESXi image is actually compatible with VMware Workstation and with VMware ESXi server. Now select the desired 40 OS version 7.6.0. There are files available for download files required to upgrade from an earlier version and files required for a new deployment. In this example, I am going for a new deployment. Click the download and save the file. I already downloaded the FortiGate 40 OS VM image. The FortiGate firewall image link is also provided in the description area. This image would be crucial for importing into the VMware workstation. After the download was complete, I extracted the file to prepare the VM image for import. With VMware workstation up and running, now proceed with the installation of FortiGate 40 OS firewall image. Importing FortiGate VM into the VMware Workstation. With the FortiGate VM image ready, then smoothly import it into the VMware Workstation by following these steps. Launch VMware Workstation and select Open Virtual Machine. Go to File, click on Open. Then locate the extracted FortiGate VM image. It's FortiGate VM64.ovf. And proceed with the import process. Click on Open. Accept the license agreement, click on next. During the import process, provide a preferred virtual machine name and a storage path to customize the setting. This is my 40 gate FW. Click on import. Now configuring network settings. It is time to tackle the crucial part of setting up the network configuration for my FortiGate VM. In VMware Workstation, access the Edit menu and select Virtual Network Editor. From there, click on the Change Settings. Click on Yes. To enable administrator privileges to find VMNet0, which was to be used as our bridge network. To set up the bridge network, I choose my desired physical network adapter, which in my case was Wi-Fi, and then clicked on OK.
Now edit the FortiGate VM image and configure one of the network adapter to work on the bridge connection to assign the IP of the same subnet as the physical adapter of my machine. To get internet in the firewall, I am going to simulate this adapter as a WAN because it is now getting the IP from my home lab Wi-Fi router. This is the first adapter of this virtual machine and the network connection should be selected on bridge. Another adapter was used as a LAN segment which is essentially indicates a LAN network connected to the 40 OS VM. Click on adapter 2. I would preferably set up my LAN on VM net 2. And now click on OK. Now turn on the 40 gate 40 OS VM. Power on this virtual machine. For the first time during the login process, FortiGate requires a default username, which is in this case is admin and the password is empty. Type admin, hit enter and just press enter again. Later it prompts you to set up the password of your choice and at this prompt without delaying should change the default password which is empty and change it with the complex password. I have successfully reset it with the my complex password. Now you can find the IP address assigned to the FortiGate VM by entering the following command. This command is very useful to run on the FortiGate CLI. To quickly check your interfaces and the IP addresses assigned on the interfaces, type get space system space interface space physical. Hit enter. As you can see on the interface or port number one, has assigned the IP address from my home router typically running DHCP which is simulated as a WAN here. Note the IP address. Now I am opening the FortiGate GUI on my host machine by entering the IP address in the browser. Type 192.168.11.181 Hit enter. Enter the default username which is admin and the password that you have already reset during its first boot. Here you can observe that 40 OS is on an evaluation license. It is just for learning purposes. You need to register for a full license if you want to use all the features of the 40 gate. To continue the trial license, we have to register it with our 40 gate account that we have created from the beginning of this video. Now click on the evaluation license tab, type the email address. I have signed up in 40 gate with this email account. Type the password and click OK. It's updating the license will cause the system to reboot. Do you want to continue? Click on OK. And behind the scene, actually this machine is rebooting. The system is going down now. The FortiGate firewall is successfully rebooted. Go back to your browser. Type admin and the new password. Hit enter. This actually a FortiGate initial setup wizard. Perform the following setup to complete the setup for this FortiGate. Click on begin. Migrate config with FortiGate converter. No, I am not interested right now. Click on later. Automatic patch upgrade. It's okay if it is disabled right now. You can enable it later on. Acknowledge. Okay. Dashboard setup is optimal. It's fine. Click on okay. And that's it. If you wanted to learn more about 40 OS 7.6, you can watch this video here. And if you don't want to see this message, click on don't show this again. Click OK. And here is your brand new newly installed Fortinet FortiGate Firewall OS. To configure the interfaces on the FortiGate Firewall, go to the Interfaces tab under the Network section on the side menu.
click on the network click on the interfaces and here you will see all the associated interfaces port number one designated as the internet facing interface or WAN and enable DSCP for automatic IP assignment ensuring connectivity to the internet port number one added the interface this interface actually getting the IP address through the DSCP server running in my home lab in the administrative access by default, this interface is permitted to receive ping echo packet and replies. HTTPS accessibility is also enabled, HTTP and SSH. Click on OK. As for port number 2, I would designate it as the LAN interface and should assign the static IP address on this interface. Because this will be a gateway of my LAN site. Click on Edit. Type the IP address. I would preferably assign a static IP address. 10.10.10.1 slash 24 bit subnet mask. To simplify the allocation of IP addresses for devices connected to the LAN, I would also enable the DSCP server on port number 2. Click on DSCP server. The range should be 10.10.10.100. This is the starting range, and end is fine. Subnet mask is 24 bit. This is my default gateway. It's okay. This is also my DNS resolver. In the administrative access section, I would also accept the ping responses, HTTPS, SSH, and that's it. Click on OK. Here you go. This configuration on port number two allowed for FortiGate VM to serve as a gateway, managing the traffic between the LAN and the internet, and enabling seamless communication between devices within the local network. Now connecting a LAN device, after setting up the LAN interface, proceed to connect a LAN device to our FortiGate VM in VMware Workstation. To achieve this, I have already installed a Windows 10 VM for the LAN traffic and for internet simulation on another VM within the same VMware workstation environment. And the most important is, it must be on the same designated virtual LAN network. In this virtualized environment, VMNet2 is designated a LAN on Fortinet and we have assigned this earlier along with the static IP on this interface. So we should select VMNet2 in this VM network connection. Select on edit. Click on the network adapter, go to custom network and select VMNet2 and click on OK. With everything configured, start the virtual machine. Log into the virtual machine. And it should obtain an IP address automatically or from the DHCP. Open the CMD. And check the IP address. Which should be on the LAN network which is 10.10.10.0 slash 24 subnet in this example. And yes, it successfully obtained an IP address from the FortiGate VM's DHCP server. Now this allowed the client devices to communicate and interact with other devices within the LAN network established by the FortiGate VM. And now test the internet connection. After the client device was ready and had its IP address assigned, when you tried pinging the Google DNS, type ping space Google DNS and hit enter. To check whether it was getting any traffic to and from the internet. The ping was not successful. You may wonder why. It is because of implicit deny rule in the firewall policies of FortiGate. We have to define the policies to allow the traffic to move between the LAN network and the internet. Now jump back to our FortiGate firewall and configure the firewall policies. To enable internet access for the LAN device, set up a basic firewall policy on the FortiGate VM. In the FortiGate GUI, access the firewall policy and objects. Click on the firewall policy and proceed to create a new policy that allowed unrestricted traffic from the LAN to the internet or WAN. Click on create new. Name, I would prefer to write its internet access. 
action is accept incoming interface is our port 2 which is our lan and the outgoing interface is our wan which is port 1 source in this example i would simply allow to everyone select all destination set to all service set to all inspection mode is flow based is fine that should be enabled in my upcoming videos i will discuss in very great detail about the security profiles but in this example just click on ok now go back to our windows 10 machine as a result the LAN device could browse the internet and utilize only services seamlessly Now open the browser and then check the internet accessibility. Type google.com Type Fortinet certification. This is just for checking the internet. And yes, the internet is accessible from this device. While the FortiGate VM act as a secure gateway, managing the traffic and providing an added layer to protection through the firewall rules defined in the policy. Setting up FortiGate on VMware Workstation was an incredible learning experience. The ability to experiment with various network security configurations in a virtual environment was truly valuable. The LAN setup allowed us to test different scenarios and enhance our knowledge of firewall policies. I hope building a basic Fortinet lab experience inspires you to embark on your networking adventure and explore the world of virtual appliances and security features. This Fortinet lab demonstrated key firewall setup steps, including interface assignment, IP configuration, and enabling internet access. It underscored the importance of precise network management and security. And now, happy experimenting. Alright, that is all for the now. Thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing more of my journey with you all. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Or if you have any issues or questions, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.